Cool little device once you get used to it. What is it? I'm gonna open it. Temperature. Would you like to try? Put it to Wait, this is just. Okay, move your hair a little bit. There's a little quick start. Where the fuck is that? Where is that? Did you get the olives and onion ones to take them all off? Listen, I didn't want to eat all the pizza, all the cheese, right? Am I dying, doctor? No. No, you're fine. Okay. I feel like it's so finicky. Is that your temple? Am I even on it? Yeah. Maybe try. Try doing it itself. How's it work? Just click the button and put it to my temple? Doing a measurement. Press the on off button to turn on the device and will auto self diagnosis. When all symbols appear on the display, the self diagnosis is finished and is ready for measuring. After the device beeps twice, place the probe on the measuring site. Uh, the measurement is done when you hear one long beep. A few minutes later. I don't know though. Three days later. Let me see. Try not to move the Yeah, it's gone. I will come better when you are. 97. Yeah. Can't believe I was 99. Let me take your temperature. <laughs> It's been a good first week of classes. The other day, my family went to like a bunch of Mexican shops that are down here in South Florida. And I didn't end up eating mine because I just, I wasn't hungry at the time. And I had, to, I thought somebody ate it, like ate it, but it was in the freezer. My mom pointed it out and she's like, when are you gonna eat this? I'm like, 
didn't even know it was there. So I'm eating it now. It's kind of like a slushy. I'm also editing this week's vlog. This week being January the 14th. I'm really trying to get it uploaded by today. You know, this autofocus really isn't that great. But it's what I got. Nice. I do love chamoy, which is kind of like a like a sauce that's used in a lot of like Mexican candies and stuff. But I can say that I think this one has a little bit too much chamoy. Chamoy. <laughs> but um it's still good. Just gonna be enjoying this while I edit. All right, so it's late at night. It's been 11 57, it's about to be 12. And I am gonna, going to try to get a big chunk of Foley done. I've mentioned this before, but this is the recorder I use. It's a simple one. I think it's less than a hundred bucks. Honestly, it might be around fifty. It's the task cam something something. I'll put the name on screen. Um, gonna be using this with my Sony headphones here, and then I can hear what's being recorded. And then the last thing I need, last thing I need is my notebook. Um, I just put a bunch of stickers on here whenever I find some stickers because my notebook actually has a detailed list of what I need to record. Yep, here it is. I broke, I went through my movie and I broke down everything that I thought I would make a sound or it would need sound for. So I have this as kind of like a, like a check, like a list, keeping track of where I'm going. So you guys are probably wondering why I'm choosing to do it this late at night. A, because my movie is a horror film at night, so I feel like that's when I'll be able to get the best, um, just mo most fitting sound for the film. Um, second big reason, um, I live in a house, like a full house, so there's like five people living in my house. It's two story. Um, it's really noisy during the day. I can't really get any clean recording. Um, and uh, I didn't record anything on set, which I should have done, but it was, uh, it was hectic, so something to improve upon for next time I uh, shoot so that's what I'm gonna do right now uh, I probably won't record any of that but last thing I need to tell you guys is that I actually have the whole movie on my phone right here and that's so I can follow the movement of what's going on so that I can actually perform the foley correctly so whenever I see myself take a step on this I'll know exactly how to place myself like I did when we were actually shooting so all right see you guys next time collage ambience take three it's spooky out here in here I'm not gonna lie. 